Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has issued Decree Number 28 of 2022, amending some provisions of Decree 39 of 2020, reorganizing the Electricity and Water Authority. Article 1 of the decree stipulates that the phrase Chairman of the Authority is replaced with the phrase Chief Executive Officer with the rank of Under Secretary mentioned in the introduction to Article 1 of Decree 39 of 2020 reorganizing the Electricity and Water Authority and the phrase Deputy Chairman of the Authority replaces the phrase Executive Vice Chairman wherever it appears in the decree. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 29 of 2022 appointing Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed as the Chairman of the Electricity and Water Authority while retaining his previous rank. On the occasion of the success of the last academic year, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi affirmed the great support that the educational process and student affairs in the Kingdom received from His Majesty the King. al naimi praised the prominent role of His Majesty King Hamad's project for schools of the future and digital empowerment, which came by a direct order from His Majesty the King, which contributed to the development of the educational electronic system and made it capable of dealing with various developments. In the success of the school year, there were reasons behind its achievements despite the nature of the critical health conditions that the world has witnessed as a result of the corona pandemic, which shows the reality of the support that the educational process and student affairs in the kingdom enjoys from the presence of His Majesty the King. The success rate for general education in the secondary schools was 97.3 percent, with 2,977 students achieving a score of 95 percent or more. The success rate in technical and vocational education was 87.9%, with 56 students obtaining at least 95%. Intermediate students had the highest score, with a success rate of 98.34%. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labor, Jamil bin Mohammed Al Hamidan, the Gulf University held a ceremony marking the International Human Resources Day in a Speech during the ceremony, Mr. Hamidan praised this initiative organized by the Gulf University, stressing the government's interest under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop human resources and prepare the infrastructure to enhance enlightenment and align between education outcomes and training with the needs of the labor market, especially in the sectors included in the economic recovery plan. Mr. Hamidan pointed out, the importance of linking the interest in developing human resources and attracting investments that Bahrain depends on boost its economic growth, noting that the cost of building, training and developing national caters benefits the government's overall plans to strengthen investment climate. Mr. Hamidan also said that one of the most important challenges is maintaining skilled cadres in light of global competition to attract talent. He stressed that skilled competencies contribute to the development of enterprises whose development will reflect positively on the movement of the economy. The Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'al bin Nasser al-Mubarak, and the Minister of Works, Wa'al bin Nasser, held a meeting with the aim of coordinating the continuation of joint projects within the National Afforestation Plan, which aims to double the number of trees in the Kingdom of Bahrain by 2035. Al Mubarak affirmed the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding the expansion of projects to double the number of trees from 1.8 million to nearly 3.6 million trees by the year 2035 as part of the Kingdom's commitments within the goals of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, indicating that there are a number of initiatives and policies to reach the annual goal of planting 250,000 trees annually. For his part, the Minister of Works affirmed that the Ministry will continue the projects of delivering treated irrigation water to the various streets and intersections to be planted in various governorates. The two ministers stressed that the government, headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, pays a great attention to the process of afforestation and beautification of the main streets, which will preserve the environment as well as contribute to the sustainable development of the Kingdom, improving the climate, reducing temperatures and preserving biological diversity of local plants. The Minister of Social Development, Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfour, along with the Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E-Government Authority and Chairman of the Evaluation Committee of the Government Services Center, Mr. Muhammad Ali Al-Qaid, visited the Muharraq Social Center to present the Golden Shield on the occasion of the center obtaining the Golden Category Classification within the Government Services Center's Evaluation 3. On the occasion, the Minister of Social Development praised the directives of His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister 
to enhance excellence and quality in productivity and efficiency of institutional performance, which contributes to the development of government services provided through service centers and raise the performance of government agencies to competitive levels. The minister stressed that reward comes as a culmination of the distinguished efforts made by the center's officials and their commitment to the observation and standards of the government service centers evaluation committee praising in this context the evaluation program which enjoys the support of his highness the crown prince and prime minister the minister of health dr jalila bint Sayyid Jawad Hassan headed Bahrain's delegation to the sixth meeting of the GCC Ministerial Committee for Food Safety held at the GCC General Secretariat in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. During the meeting, the minister updated the Gulf Manual for Control of Imported Food, updating the Unified Food Law and System for the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, discussing the Guide to Issuing Certificates for Food Products Traded Among Member States, in addition to implementing the decision of the Supreme Council at its 40th session on Non-Tariff Restrictions Cooperation Council on World Food Safety Day. Bahrain's participation in the meeting comes within the Kingdom's keenness to continue building on the joint Gulf efforts to ensure food safety in the GCC countries. And on the sideline of the meetings of the GCC Ministerial Committee for Food Safety, the Health Minister, Dr. Jalila bint Sayyid Jawad Hassan, met with the Saudi Health Minister, Fahad bin Abdurrahman Al Jalajal. She highlighted the advanced level of the ongoing cooperation and coordination between the two brotherly countries in the health sector. The two sides discussed areas of joint cooperation and topics related to emerging diseases, non-communicable diseases, genetic blood diseases, advanced treatment aspects, and the Genome Project, in addition to health research and studies and cooperation in the field of training, health systems, and artificial intelligence in a manner that would enhance the exchange of experiences between the two countries. While visiting the Saha Virtual Hospital and the Command and Control Center of Saudi Arabia, she was informed about the Saudi Health Sector Transformation Program. The minister commended the efforts exerted by the Saudi Health Ministry to promote the culture of virtual medicine and develop services. She lauded the advanced level of cooperation between the two brotherly countries, especially in the field of health. The Minister of Information Affairs and President of the Gulf Radio and Television Festival, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah al naimi attended the closing ceremony of the 15th session of the Gulf Radio and Television Festival, held last night at the Bahrain National Theatre in the presence of the heads of Gulf and Arab delegations participating in the festival and a large crowd of Gulf artists, media professionals and influencers. At the beginning of the ceremony, the festival management recalled with much appreciation and gratitude a gesture of loyalty to the great Bahraini journalist and media writer Saeed Al Hamad, who passed away recently. A documentary film entitled Pass Through Here was shown, which revealed glimpses of the most prominent and important artistic and media figures from the generation of pioneers who enriched artistic life in the Arabian Gulf. In his speech at the closing ceremony of the festival, Kuwait's Mishari Al Bajan, head of the judging committees, expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by the Ministry of Information Affairs, for its continuous efforts in hosting the 15th session of the festival. Then the Minister of Information Affairs honored the winners of the Golden and Silver Shields of the Gulf Member States. Marking the occasion, the Minister of Information Affairs stressed that the festival's activities in the session were distinguished by focusing on important themes that touched on the most important topics related to the radio and television sectors, including the role of media in strengthening the Gulf identity and addressing new media, women, youth media and other topics that abounded in the seminars and workshops accompanying the festival, praising what these have achieved. He pointed out that these meetings reflect the collective desire to support and enhance joint media cooperation, as well as to discuss new horizons that contribute to confirming the role of media in the process of progress and growth. The Minister of Information Affairs and President of the Gulf Radio and Television Festival congratulated all the honorees and winners of the festival, as well as the Golden and Silver Sale Awards. He renewed his thanks and appreciation to all those responsible for preparing and organizing the festival from the Gulf Radio and Television Corporation, for the General Secretariat of the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf, and the Ministry of Information Affairs. The round of political consultations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union was held in Brussels at the European External Action Service in Brussels. 
They were headed by the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Secretary General and Political Director of the European External Action Service, Enrique Mora. During the meeting, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah praised close and growing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union and their progress at various levels, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. They also discussed aspects of cooperation and close partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union in political, security and economic affairs and the ways to enhance them. Discussions also focused on regional and international developments.